Hey guys, it's your boy Jackie. I'm back with another video. And today, if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, we are here with a list of movies that you should watch for every single day up until Christmas. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So today's video is going to be the first video of Long Miss, and that's basically where I'm going to do my best to upload a video every single day for the month of December. This year, it is 2023, and hopefully we can do better than how we did last year, because I think last year I ended up getting sick, so that sucked. But here we are, new year, new me, right? With that said, though, we are starting off this year's long miss with basically my list of movies that I'm going to be watching every single day for Christmas. I came up with this idea because I've been seeing videos on TikTok and I was talking to my coworkers about it. And basically, I was saying that this year I want to watch a movie every single day for Christmas. And here is my list of movies. Here is my handy dandy notebook where I write down all my videos, ideas. Basically, video ideas. That's, that's all right in here. But I got my Christmas movie list right here. So with that said, this video is going to be a guide. You guys don't have to watch every single movie from this list. You guys can add some. Y'all could um, be like, ew, that movie's trash. Or let me know down below what movies I should have added instead of these. But that said, I'm in a very festive mood this year as, you know, it's Christmas. I love the holidays. Um, it's the best time of the year, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I wanted to watch a Christmas movie every day to get me in the spirit of Christmas, the Christmas joy and stuff like that. So if you guys don't celebrate Christmas, um, you know, happy holidays to, you know, what you do celebrate. Um, but, you know, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, this is a good way to start along with. So with that said, you guys can follow me along on the movies I watch. And this list is not in any particular order, but I do have exactly 25 movies to watch all the way up until Christmas. And of course, I have other movies that I'm going to watch for the whole month of December, but we don't talk about the last six, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it ain't Christmas related. So we only talk about the Christmas stuff today. So enough of me rambling. Let's get started with my Christmas list today. So to start things off, we have a classic movie, The Polar Express. If you haven't seen it, perfect time to see it. I feel like a lot of newer kids, newer people, younger generation probably haven't seen it. But, you know, people from the 2001s, the 2000s, yeah, I've definitely seen Polar Express. Because I used to watch this every Christmas in elementary school. And I started to hate the movie, not going to lie. But it was always an extra, like, what, two hours away from class. At least that's what it felt like. So, shout out to the Polar Express. Yeah. Next on the list, we have Bad Mom Christmas. I never watched it i'm not gonna lie but before we move on further i will say i made this list with my friend so some of them are from their perspective my perspective uh but yeah if there's some movie titles that i don't even know or if i don't know how to pronounce them that was probably one of the movies that i picked um but shout out to my friend who helped me they want to stay anonymous so we're going to keep it that way respectfully but yeah i never seen bad mom christmas i saw some commercials on it but i guess i i'm gonna watch it this year next we got spirited or sprinted i don't know anything about this movie never heard of this movie so i guess i'm in for a joy because i'm watching a new movie you know what i'm saying i guess you know it's a good time to try something new and watch something different unique that i've never seen before so <laughs> moving on we have rise of the guardians i think this is a christmas movie when i hear rise of the guardians i think of galaxy of the guardians um i have no clue what the rise of the garden is but like i said some of the movies I didn't pick, but you know, I'm up for anything. Next we have Love Actually. I don't even know that was a Christmas movie or not. I just, I don't I don't know. I know it's one of like the most best romantic movies, um, but I guess it's Christmas related. So that's on here. Next we have The Holiday Calendar. Never heard of it, never seen of it. I It's on the list. Next we got a classic Santa Buddies, you know what I'm saying? With the little dogs. I don't think I've actually ever seen it, so it's gonna be interesting to see me watching a kid's movie, but you know, Christmas is all about being fun, young, um, so definitely can't wait to see it. Next we have Santa Claus 3. I don't know what happened to Santa Claus 1 or Santa Claus 2. We just skipped straight to Santa Claus 3. Um, my friend said that they only remember watching Santa Claus 3. They don't remember seeing 1 or 2, so that's why we got 3 instead of 1 and 2. So I guess 1 and 2 are honorable mentions. Next we have a classic, one of my favorite holiday movies of all time. Um, probably Home Alone. It's a classic, you know what I'm saying? Kevin, you know what I'm saying? Ah, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Kevin and the family, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but Home Alone, classic, you know what I'm saying? All the new ones, only Home Alone 1 and 2, those are the good ones. After they switched from, um, I forgot the actor's name, uh, but Kevin, the original Kevin, um, 
I think it's like Macaulay McCluster or something like that. But once they moved on from that, him, bro, the new actors suck. The one they released last year, like 2022 or something like that, that one was trash. I hated that movie. That little kid looked like a little fucking Josh Peck back in the day. I didn't like him. His little accent pissed me off. That movie pissed me off. You can't beat the original. Just let the original eat, bro. You like, bro, Some of these remakes, bro, just got to stop. Like, all these Home Alones, bro. Home Alone 3 suck. Home Alone 4 suck. Home Alone 5 suck. The Home Alone that came in last year suck. All these new Home Alones suck. And then they all got McCallie McCluster, bro. Ain't good, bro. So, Home Alone 1, the original, the best one. Next, we got a classic 2. You got Good Luck Charlie Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Good Luck Charlie, probably one of the best Disney shows. And, you know, they have a Christmas like special. So, that Christmas special won the banger. So, that's a classic right there. If y'all don't know, I just put you on. But if you know, you know. Next, we got Snow Buddies. Um, I guess it's just like Santa Buddies, but with snow. Um, I remember back in the day, they just went crazy with these Snow Buddies, Santa Buddies. Um, I don't know why it's on here twice, but, you know, I guess it's there. So I got to watch Santa Buddies and Snow Buddies. Next, we got Beethoven's Christmas Adventure. I just remember as a kid, um, the Beethoven books. I never read them. I can't read. But I just remember the Beethoven like books. So I guess they made a movie about Beethoven's Christmas. So I guess we got to watch that. Next, we got Black Naive, Native, Nativity. Um, never seen it. Never heard of it. But hopefully it's a good movie. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Got that on the list. Next, we got one of the, my favorite Nickelodeon shows, um, movie special that they made for Christmas. And that is Big Tom Rush Christmas Special, bro. If you know, you fucking know. That's one of the best fucking movies Nickelodeon ever produced. Uh, Big Tom Rush, best show Nickelodeon's ever produced. Um, I'll, I'm a huge Big Tom Rush fan. Love Big Tom Rush. Um... You know what I'm saying? Best boy band ever. Um, but yeah, we had to put in Big Time Rush Christmas Special. Next, we got Elf. I've never seen Elf. I know, I think Will Ferrell is in it. Never seen Elf, but it's the year that I watched Elf. Next up on the list, we got Alvin and the Chunkmunks. This is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I love Alvin and the Chunkmunks. And it does take place during Christmas. You know what I'm saying? that The whole movie's not about Christmas, but like half of it's about Christmas. So yeah, we had to put Alvin and the Chunkmunks. One of my favorite movies of all time. Next up, we got Grinch. Um, I don't know which version of The Grinch I'm going to watch. I'm probably going to watch the one with Jim Carrey. Um, but yeah, we got The Grinch. Next, we got, you know, another classic, Medea's Christmas. Um, honestly, I only seen like a couple of Medea movies. So I am like, I'm pretty sure they got a couple of Medea Christmases. But we're going to watch one of them and see how it turns out. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, it's a banger. Next, we got Merry Christmas, Drake and Josh. You know what I'm saying? That was also a banger. Shout out to Drake and Josh. Um, but yeah, you know, I don't care about the beef that I had after the show, but Drake and Josh, this Christmas special was a banger. Next, we got A Crown for Christmas. Never heard of it. Um, and what I realized is that a lot of these movies are like, oh, something Christmas, something, something. Um, all these Christmas movies are really are similar. Like, there's like Last Christmas, This Christmas. Um, <laughs> like, some of these movies... Ah, these movie names are basic and generic, but it is what it is. Next, we got Gremlins. I don't know, watch Gremlins, but I heard Gremlins is a Christmas movie, I guess. And it's a good movie, so we got to watch Gremlins. Um, then we got Last Christmas, you know what I'm saying? And then we got This Christmas, you know what I'm saying? I know one of them has Chris Brown. I just don't remember which one, but, you know, we got those next. And then we got Charlie Brown Christmas, you know what I'm saying? A classic. And the last movie that I have on my list is going to be Last Holiday. Never heard of it. Sounds generic, sounds basic, sounds like every other Christmas movie. There were so many other movies to choose from too. So choosing 25 was very, very difficult. Um, so yeah, definitely this is, might become a tradition as, you know, there's just so many different Christmas movies that you can choose from. With that said though, let me know down below if you guys think my list is a banger or if you guys are going to follow along on my list or let me know if there's any movies that I missed. With that said though, that's going to conclude the first episode of Wong Miss and hopefully I can continue to upload every single day of December this year without any struggle or any hiccups, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that's the first video of Wong Miss. I don't think I have anything else left to say, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share, and your boy is out.